What's up guys, Jared back here again on my channel, Keystone Carry, and I got a new toy. Why don't we take a walk around and I'll show you what's up. What the heck possessed me to buy another Jeep? Well, that's a good question. That's actually why I'm doing this YouTube video. I apologize for the wind ahead of time. This was impromptu. I just wanted to get this out and throw a little quick video together for you. This is a 1994 Jeep Cherokee. I bought it off of an old friend of mine who now lives overseas and he has for the last couple years. And this thing hasn't been used really at all in the last couple years. He reached out to me and asked if I had any interest in his Jeep. And at first I was like, no, I, I don't need another Jeep. My 99 Cherokee is in the paint room over here, getting completely stripped and it's about ready to get a paint job. It's getting new rockers and armor and all kinds of cool stuff. So I don't need another Jeep. But when he showed me pictures and he started going over what this thing has, I was like, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> and I ended up, it, it was the right deal. And so I bought it. And now my game plan with this Cherokee is to take all the good parts that I have here and put them over onto my other 99 Cherokee. And then I'm gonna honestly probably just scrap this whole tub, part it out, whatever it takes to get rid of it because it is so rusted. But what I wanted to do is do a little walk around on this thing. Some of the parts I don't know. Like for example, I don't know exactly how much lift this thing has. I'm assuming it has a little more than six and a half, maybe seven to eight inches of lift, just because of how tall this thing is, but I don't know. So some of it I don't know, some of it I absolutely know, and I just wanted to do a walk around and show you guys what parts are on this thing, and then what I'm gonna take and put over to the 99 Cherokee. Let's do a walk around. As far as tires on this thing, it currently has the Hankook Dynapro ATMs. These are 33 by 12 and a half tires they're nothing fancy but honestly i've been on the hunt for a decent road tire so i will put these to good use up front it has some kind of aftermarket steering to be honest it kind of reminds me of an older cab fab steering but i'm going to reach out to them and find out it's definitely not stock it is beefed up but i don't know who manufactured that kit as far as the lift i have no idea it's probably four and a half or five and a half inch coils but then they have these two inch pucks on top of them. So I'll probably just not use the pucks at all and just go with some six and a half inch coils or eight and a half inch coils on my Jeep. I'm not really a big fan of the puck idea. It's just not really, I don't like it. It has a Dana 30 in the front, obviously. Cool part about this is it already has 456 gears in it and it does have a solid diff cover on the front. So it's a little bit armored up and it's ready to get beat up. And it does have an Iron Rock off-road long arm three link setup on the front end of this. So that's the suspension and the tires. Let's talk about the bumper. So over here on the bumper, it's a down and dirty bumper. I've seen these before. I believe they're out of Pennsylvania. And it's just got a Smitty built winch. It's like a 9,500 pound winch. I don't know that this is anything to write home about, but I do like the bumper. I like the D-rings and I like the fact that it has a winch on there. So this probably will end up going onto my 99 and we might paint it up, maybe do a nice a nice black, instead of just a rattle can paint job, we'll blast it and, and make it a professional looking bumper. Yeah, lots of good stuff on this Jeep. Let's go over to the back end. So back here in the rear, again, I don't know the lift size, I'm assuming six and a half around that. 
maybe a little bigger. It does have full leaf packs and they are curved. It is awesome. I'm so happy about that, that they're not all flat and worn out. So the leaf springs and the Dana 44 are gonna go over to my Cherokee. The exhaust tip probably will too. They, somebody put dual five inch exhaust tips on this thing, which is kind of weird, but it kind of is a little bit cool. So I'm okay with it. But with my bigger turbo and my diesel, those exhaust tips are gonna sound insane. So I'm only using one. I'm not running dual exhaust on that thing, but it should be, it should be a good time. I'm excited about that. Coming back over to this end of the Jeep, it does have some kind of tube steel rock sliders. I have no need for these, so they'll probably just come off of the Jeep and get parted out with everything else. On my 99 Cherokee, we have put tube steel, quarter inch thick, two by six tube steel, and that is in place of the factory rockers now, so I have no need for that. The fender flares are some kind of universal fender flare, and I'm probably gonna clean up the cuts on them but I probably will run these fenders on my Jeep just for the extra coverage because I'll run these 33s for now, but I'll probably end up going to 35s on my Jeep. There is one secret gem on this Jeep that I was super excited about when I saw. Let's go to the back end and I'll show it to you. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. This is what I was super excited about. When I crawled underneath and realized that this thing had a Dana 44, that's when I was like kind of freaking out a little bit. The craziest part is I didn't even know it until I got this thing home, but it does have a Dana 44 with a locker and 456 gears. That's a win. This is definitely going onto my Jeep. Definitely. Something else I completely forgot to mention is this does have a factory AX15 five speed as well which is awesome. It has a transfer case, skid plate, a bunch of little details like that, that to me made this super appealing to me. I, I don't care that it has rust. I don't care that the floorboards are all gone. None of that matters to me. The good parts definitely outweigh the bad. And I'm not looking at this as a daily driver, or even something I'm gonna even attempt to fix. I'm not going to attempt to fix it at all. I'm simply gonna rob the parts and then put them over on my Jeep to continue the turbo diesel XJ build. Let's hop into the interior and check out what's going on inside. Probably the biggest shame of this whole thing is this Jeep was put together for a specific purpose and you can tell. And whoever did this build definitely put some good parts into this thing to make it a very capable trail rig. And it is a shame that I'm gonna be ripping it apart. I mean, the interior is nearly perfect in this thing, but the project for my turbo diesel XJ has to continue and robbing parts off of this was probably the most cost-effective way to do this. And like I said, I wasn't even looking for this Jeep. My buddy reached out to me and said, hey, I'm overseas, I have no use for this, would you buy this? My initial response was no but after seeing the fact that it has the Iron Rock off-road three-link front setup, that it has the locker, that it has the diff guards, it has the good steering, full leaf packs in the rear, all of this stuff to me as I'm thinking and I'm calculating means that I'll have even better parts on my Cherokee when it's all said and done. I wanted to put lower gears in my Cherokee, so I bought a Ford 8.8 with 410s and I was gonna re-gear my Dana 30 in the front. This already has 456s, and a Dana 44 in the rear, which is the correct width for the Cherokee. So yes, the Ford 88 probably would be a little stronger. I'm not super knowledgeable about that. I would assume that the 88 is a little beefier, but I'll be fine with the Dana 44, especially considering what I do with my Jeep and the fact that I don't go wheeling like I used to. So this is an update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. The hunt is so addicting when you are finding these projects and you're trying to build your Jeep in the most cost-effective way possible. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Guys, I'll catch you next time. Stay well, stay safe. I will see you in the next video. See if it'll start now. <laughs> Battery was dead.
Got a jumper. Oh well, at least the suspension's good. I got a jump pack, we're good to go.